Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today we're going to talk about how to clone your existing OS drive, be it a uh, hard drive or an SSD, to a Samsung SSD, either SATA or M.2. Today we're going to use the 960 Evo, which I recently installed in a PC that I'm using now. So we're going to use a Samsung migration, and this works only for Samsung drives. So if you're cloning your OS drive or your main drive to your newly installed SATA SSD or M.2 Samsung SSD, then this video might help you guys out. Stay tuned, and I'll be right back. Okay, so first you're going to have to have a Samsung branded SATA SSD or a uh, M.2 NVMe SSD like the 960 Evo that we're looking at here. And you're going to have to install that on your computer. Now I have other videos in the past that you can look at to show you how to install it on your computer. Uh, it just slots in kind of like a RAM stick and then you just... Um, hold it down basically with a, a single screw. Nothing too difficult. Don't think that this is a difficult process because it is not. Again, you can look at some of my other videos uh, to show you how to do the installation. Now, once you have this installed, as long as your operating system uh, recognizes the drive, uh, you're ready to use Samsung's migration software. And that's what we're going to do now. We're going to take Samsung's migration software and we are going to migrate our OS drive or our operating system drive to our new Samsung SSD. Okay, so once you get to your desktop, you've got your drive installed, you've got your old drive, you're running your operating system on, and you've got your new drive, which is the Samsung drive, you're going to use Samsung's migration software. Now, you can go to Samsung.com and download that. I will have a link in the description where you can download the migration software, and we're going to run this, and this is going to clone your drive. So basically, once you run it, uh, you can make sure that it's auto updated. It will check and uh, you can update it uh, to the newest version. And this is the data migration software. This is super simple. Just has a start button and it basically says SSD to a Samsung drive. Uh, you can also use this for hard drives as well. Like if you have your uh, Windows operating system on a hard drive and you want to copy it over to a Samsung drive, that will work fine too. It auto-populates, it has my original disk here, it's an Intel uh, 330 series SSD, uh, and my target disk is now the Samsung uh, 960 Evo 500 gigabyte, which we installed. Uh, you can see that I have 111.9 gigabytes, uh, and this one is gonna give me a substantially much more size. Now, obviously when I say start, it's going to tell me that um, it's going to erase everything on the target disk, which is my new disk, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, and we are going to actually close down all extra programs here just to make the process as fast as possible. Any open programs, it says, will not be cloned, so you want to make sure that you have as many programs shut down as possible uh, to avoid conflicts. Uh, basic programs uh, that like your sound and your Bluetooth, that stuff will all come over so you don't have to worry about that. So once you have everything shut down, you just click yes. And this is when the clo uh, cloning process begins. And uh, remember, we're cloning 111.9 gigabytes uh, from uh, OneDrive to the target drive. Uh, this is going to give me a, a a lot more space uh, from that older SSD uh, that I only had about 50 gigabytes left on. I'm going to have uh, closer to 350 gigabytes left on now for open space. So that, that's one reason while I'm doing this. The other reason is because the M.2 NVMe drives are so much faster even than the regular SATA SSDs. So you're going to see that it has a bar here that it's going to tell you how much time you have left uh, and the speed that it's copying everything. And that will actually speed up uh, faster and faster as the process goes on. So I'm going to kind of speed through this just so that you guys can see uh, and don't have to watch this in real time. And I will be back as soon as that is done.
Okay, so as you can see, we've copied this over. It took about eight to nine minutes to copy 111.9 gigabytes over. We topped out at about 270 um, megabytes per second. So uh, now my 111.9 gigabytes has been copied to my target disk and I'm ready to reboot. I can go in, I can remove the old boot drive uh, and I can set uh, in my BIOS to uh, boot from this drive and we are good to go. So the process is very, very easy. Uh, as you can see, not hard at all. And I hope this helped you guys out. So there you go. That is how to use Samsung's migration software to migrate your operating system drive to a new Samsung SATA SSD or M.2 NVMe SSD. Very easy, straightforward, and simple process. Again, the links for the software will be in the description below. If you guys have any questions about this, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. Remember to like, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so because that always helps me out, and I'll check you guys out on the next video.